Hi, this is Udi Tirosh from DIYphotography.net and I'm here talking for SLR Lounge readers today and I'm going to show you how to how you can apply beautiful, beautiful, awesome backgrounds um, like this one on images that you already have. So I did this a few minutes ago. It only took me a few seconds and I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is the out of, out of uh, camera photo and I did a little retouching for this and then I applied the background or actually replaced the background and you can do this too. So this is a hand-painted background, so we'd have a lot of intricate details. So I'm going to show you how it was done. I just removed the background, and I'm going to do it again. Um, this is Bridge, and I'm looking at the uh, Image Manipulation Store Backdrop Pack, and it has all kinds of packages, and this is all light-made. So it's not uh, post-processing. This is actually how the light hits the backdrop. So I'm going to just select one of them. I'm going to select number 12 and I'm going to drag it over my image and this obviously makes the image go away. The file is a fairly big file so you can so you can stretch it until it hides the image completely and I'm going to apply that. And as you can see the details are just astounding. This is a hand painted backdrop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to soft light blending mode and that uh, this shows the image, but the image looks kind of crap. And the reason for that is that the background is now also applied on the model. So what I'm going to do is apply a mask and use a very hard brush. I'm going to paint away um, the backdrop on the model. And this is because I really don't want any backdrop details on the model. It's really not flattering for the model. And as you can see, I'm using a very hard brush. And I, I'm not very precise here. I just want to make sure that the model doesn't have... Um, any texture on her and when I'm using a hard brush I can see exactly where I'm uh, where the edges and what I've painted in and what's being left out so I'm, I'm not being very precise I'm just you know refining the brush here and there and zooming in um, and, and, and zooming in and now when I'm zoomed in I'm using a very soft brush and I'm actually um, uh, blending in the edges and I have more control and as you can see I don't really need to be very precise the only thing that I need to make sure is that I don't paint outside uh, the model on the uh, backdrop so now I slowly go and, and blend blend this away and even with the hair I don't need to be very very precise let me make this a little bit faster um, and I can continue and blend in the edges on the air um, and because the blending is so subtle, you don't actually see that transition. Um, this will work with brownish backdrops because the model has a brownish ton, tone. And again, I'm going over the edges, uh, making sure that I'm not touching the backdrop. And slowly continuing. And we're almost done. And just to finish off the hand... I don't need to be really, really precise. And the reason is that the dark parts of the model are being taken care of by the soft light blending mode. And this is it. We're done. So this is what we started with, and this is where we are. And you've seen this live time. The entire movie was three minutes. So I think it's pretty awesome. Thank you for watching.